state limit n tends to infinity summation running from k equal to 0 to n n upon k square plus n square and four options are given to us and we have to find right one option as when we put or set n equal to 100 then this summation will go up to 100 terms this summation will go up to 100 terms when we set n equal to 1000 then this sum will go up to sum of 1000 terms and when we set lakh up to 1 lakh or 10 lakh then this sum will go to up to 1 lakh term so you can increase n up to infinity then what is the number we obtain when or this summation we will obtain when we approach n s to infinity now this is given to us we have to find n tends to infinity summation of n upon k square plus n square and k is running from 0 to n this is a way of writing in summation form now n is finite here n is finite we fix or we this is iteration type n so we can change n after some stage so always try to take in denominator higher power higher power of n is 2 n square is our power term so always try to take common this n term n square term because this is free from summation because of because of k it is free from k and we want to make 1 upon n type so we can replace this 1 upon n by dx summation by integration sign and something k upon n by x so this problem can be solved by limit of finite sum limit of finite sum concept now limit of n tends to infinity summation n upon k square plus n square and k is running from 0 to n take n square as common so this limit n tends to infinity summation running from k equal to 0 to n n upon n square within bracket k square upon n square plus 1 and 1 n cancel out by n square term and 1 upon n left or n so this is limit n tends to infinity summation k running from 0 to n 1 upon k square plus n square or k upon n ka whole square k upon n whole square plus 1 and this is 1 upon n 1 upon n now replace this one is by dx k upon n by x and limit limit of integration limit of integration will be now when k is 0 or k min k min then k upon n will be 0 k min equal to 0 then k upon n will be 0 and when k max is n then n upon n equal to 1 so limit is 0 to 1 and 1 upon 1 plus x square dx 
this is the formula of tan inverse x and integrate limit of integration r 0 to 1 now put limit or taking limit this will be tan inverse 1 minus tan inverse 0 0 is tan 0 0 so this is 0 minus and this will be tan inverse 10 pi by 4 so value is pi by 4 now which one option is giving pi by 4 option D is giving pi by 4 so option D is true here so this type of problem uh, finite sum problem will be solved by integration or definite integral